Hi, you got a second? So I'm sitting in my office because I walked up the stairs and there's like a TV up there, basically. And I... Do you, do you know what it is? Let me go get it. Don't move. Stay. Don't move. I'm... Are you vlogging? Are you recording this? I am recording this because... Uh, Hold on. Because it may or may not be a very special package. <sighs> yeah, like, I mean... I mean, it's got my name on it and it's, an, it's like a giant LG ultra-wide monitor. Which is like very exciting. Surprise! <laughs> what do you mean surprise? Surprise! <laughs> I um, Goodbye, me. LG LG reached out to me a while ago and they were like, we saw your husband's like video. Don't you have like a desktop? Is it my desktop like, tour or something? Like yeah, my your desktop tour, like your computer workspace tour, I think. And they saw that and they liked what you said about the monitor, so they decided to hook you up and surprise you with a super ultra wide monitor. So they just sent me this? Yeah. Just because I said nice things about the last one? Yeah. That's so nice! I know. Maybe because you were waiting to hear back from LG? Yeah, I know, I was like... like... They just like ignored your email, and then they like messaged me and like on the low key. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute, it's my photo. It's my Instagram picture with Jules at VidCon. It says, hey Sir Wade, thanks for loving LG Ultrawide, and we are happy to know that that our monitor works so well for you. Hope you can join your new path to create, learn, and teach. Oh, LG Ultrawide team. That is so nice. That is so nice. Yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This thing is so big. Also, thank you Diana from LG for the very awesome surprise. What should I do? I mean, I, sh I should do something, but like, what, sh what should this video, should I make a, should, I mean, what should this video be? Yes, beginning vlog, end it with a review. Okay. It's a curved monitor. Ooh, I've always wanted to try a curved monitor. I wasn't recording a video right now, but I guess I'm gonna record a video right now. And I think my shirt's, I think my shirt's backwards. My shirt's backwards. I'm filming a video now, so give me a second. Okay. My shirt's not backwards anymore. The way I see it, let's do an unboxing. We'll do some like cinematic B-roll. Thanks to Peter McKinnon for teaching me some cinematic B-roll stuff. Let's do that. And then I guess we'll just go from there. So let's do it. So we're doing an unboxing. We just gotta do it. We've got USB-C, we've got HDMI. This is nice. Oh, I'm one of those weird people who doesn't take the plastic off of anything because I like to keep things nice, but I gotta get here, so it starts getting dirty in three, two. See, look, there's already a cat hair. I was gonna pull this thing out of the bottom. I'm like, what's this? Oh, that's the power button. I can see why Casey and I said just throw stuff everywhere. I don't know how I've edited this, but like, I'm like 15 minutes into this already. This is why we edit. This is like a solid structured arm. I'm liking this. Mm. So all I have to do is this. Ooh, that's it. Look at that. My current monitor, every time I move it around, I have to, I take off this back thing and I have to unscrew these two screws. It's not a big deal, but it's just something that I'm always aware, like, oh, it's gonna take me probably about, you know, seven minutes or so. But this is just like, click and I'm done. That's awesome. And then this thing, easy enough. One other thing I like about the LG setup, they, put all, they always put these little twisty screws so that like if you don't have a screwdriver, you don't need one. You can screw it manually. I really like that. I never have a screwdriver. I guess that's it. I mean, that's the setup. We have two HDMI ins, we have a headphone jack, two USB 3s, both powered. We have a USB C cable and a display port. Wow, sweet. I guess I'll set it up now. I hope it fits on my desk. This thing's massive. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. I mean, I thought this was big. Menu, input. <laughs> okay, that's crisp. So I knew there was a USB-C connector on the back, but I wasn't sure like what it was for. It said upstream and I didn't understand what that meant. Basically, let's just try it, hold on. I just got like the brand brand new 2018 MacBook Pro with all the fancy stuff. Wow, that's nice. Now that I have this plugged in, this picture's kind of low quality. <laughs> Whatever this laptop resolution is, is only that big compared to the overall monitor size. So 
That's why I think this is low res, because this screen is here, or this thing is almost four times, probably is four times as big. 3840 by 1600. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you can like, I guess so. You can just like shut this and like just stick it over there and when you plug it in, it becomes your computer. So now it turns into a desktop. I guess we'll try Bluetooth. Well, that's cool. Well, I guess now that I'm trying out the music function, uh, now is a perfect time to try out the B-roll section. So with that, let's check out this monitor. Okay, so I'm back at my desk, so I figured I'd open some projects so we can see what this giant screen does for the workflow. The three tools that I use the most, Maya, After Effects, and Premiere. By the way, links for everything I use are in the description below. You can check them out there, including my music for what I use for YouTube videos. So you can check out the link down there. So here's Maya, and I've just made like this vortex thingy. All it is, if I break it down, it was literally a cube into a radio mash node. It was colorized with kind of warms on top, cools on bottoms. I did an audio thing which looks like this. And then I replicated it. So now I have this. What I like to do with an ultra wide monitor is I always keep a working space open on one side and I have plenty of room to throw windows around that I'm working with. But I keep another side open, and that's my second monitor where I keep kind of my, what my camera's gonna see. There, so I have this camera, and then it, it, I like this better than two screens because instead of having, you know, two locked off screens, it's variable. I can change, like, like maybe this isn't very important, or maybe it really is. So that's kind of my Maya workflow. And the other thing is it keeps my timeline huge. I've got this whole thing at the bottom where I can have one timeline and you can't do that with two monitors. You just have this giant timeline. You've got plenty of screen space and you don't worry about like drivers or weird screens or resolutions or anything. Like it's all just there, which I love. So in Premiere, the way I work is I keep all of my, my assets over here on the side. And on the left, I keep all of my essential graphics tools on the right. Essential graphics templates are a new thing in Adobe that basically they're After Effects motion graphics that are designed to be template form. So change color, change text, and you can set things so that people in Premiere, video editors who don't know how to do all that, can kind of just drop that template in and make changes to it really easily. This little thing that kind of pops out and has like names and stuff, this is a super customizable thing that I created that if I wanted to make it say, you know, welcome to the video, does that. And if you don't like the color, you can just pick a new color. We'll just do like a, do a hot pink for some reason. So that's something that I created. And it's just easier when you have this giant screen, like when you have an ultra wide screen at all, you can fit like the entire central graphics thing over here on the right. And you still have a, like a screen and a half to have two big displays. Cause if I have, I can put that over here on the left. I can have my, my main screen on the right. I have my giant timeline across the bottom is After Effects. So this is an example of a motion graphics template that I made. Anyway, so again, giant timeline, room for two screens, my effects, my central graphics panels, my comp window. It's really the same way I do my Premiere when you think about it. But like, this thing's like a TV screen. It's so big. It's like, it's already been super nice working on it. Let me show you one funny thing that I've done with my monitors that I really enjoy. Is I set up this picture by picture mode, where basically you can have multiple inputs on the back of the computer. So I have DisplayPort on my PC. You know, I could actually use the USB-C from my Mac and I could have both open at once. What I do is I set the HDMI to the Nintendo Switch. And so it's great because I can, I can be rendering or something here on the left and working. And then if at any point I get bored or I have to wait for something, I just turn on the picture by picture and I play some Zelda. <laughs> There's one last thing I forgot to show you, and that is gaming. Now, this is what it would look like if I had any games, but I don't have a lot of PC games on this machine. I'm mostly working. But yeah, there's just so much more room for stuff. But anyways, there's my first impressions review thing, is that this thing's just amazing. So bottom line, 
thank you LG very much for sending me this amazing monitor out of nowhere. So again, just so everyone knows, they sent me this just as a gift and they never paid me to say, like no, none of this was scripted or like told me to say anything like, honest thoughts, I love this thing and I'm very excited to use it for like everything. So yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. Links are all in the description for the monitor, for the other stuff you saw, for my Premiere After Effects presets, the Patreon page for exclusive access, and everything else. A link to where I get all my music from, everything. It's all down there, linked below. And otherwise, here's some videos you might enjoy. Thanks again for watching, and subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next video.